Welcome back to Morning Joe. A little bit of a gloomy day here in the Big Apple, Mike Barnacle. Yeah. Speaking of doom and gloom, CNBC's Mark Haynes is somewhere <laughs> down there in the fog on Wall Street at the New York Stock Exchange. Let me get my seat okay? on. Good morning, sir. Good morning. What's going um, on down there? Jobs numbers? Uh, more doom and gloom. Of course. Let's have it. Uh, it's the job number. New jobless claims, uh, 669,000. That was uh, worse than expected. And the continuing claims number, the, people of, the number of people who are, remain on unemployment is uh, 5.7 million. That is a record. And the 669,000 is the worst number in 26 years. Mm. However, 26 years ago, uh, that number would, was actually much worse because, as a percentage. So it, it's the worst number, but not in percentage terms. Right. There's something very important but very complicated going to happen today. I'm going to take a shot at explaining it. There's a thing called the FASB, the Financial Accounting Standards Board. They set the rules on how companies record everything in their books. One of their rules is the mark-to-market rule. That requires banks to take these toxic assets that they have in their vaults and on their books and mark them to whatever they could be, could be sold for today. Since no one's buying these things, that's not a whole lot of money. And the banks say, look, this is unfair because we don't intend to sell them today. We're going to hold them for years and eventually they'll come back. And anyway, that's the debate over mark to market. The FASB today is going to ease the mark to market rule. This will be good news for the banks in the sense that they won't be, uh, they won't appear to be as unhealthy as they now appear to be. But it also kind of muddies the water on what they're actually worth. Right. Hmm. You know? Right. And here's an interesting offshoot of this. It shows how the government, oh, by the way, all of this is happening because of enormous pressure from Congress. Now, here's how the cross purposes come into play. You've got Tim Geithner coming up with this plan to help private money buy the toxic assets, okay? Yep. But the private people are not going to pay as much as the banks can now claim their worth because of the easing <laughs> of the mark-to-market rule. So the government's working across purposes. I mean, they've created this fund, this plan to buy the toxic assets, but at the same time, they have eliminated any incentive for the banks to sell the toxic assets. Oh, my I, God. I just, I'm busy. Wow. How weird is that? Yeah. I have no idea what just happened. I, Mark, I, I, I wish you were here because... I wish you were here because you could have just explained <laughs> the infield fly rule to Mika Brzezinski. <laughs> Look, I'm no, sorry. I mean, it's just it's it's complicated stuff. That's really as simple as I can make it. We got it. Well, no, no, we got, well, got it. it. It's very it's, well it's done. Really we got it. We love you. Yeah, it's very well done. Uh, the unfortunate thing is, you know, it's an easy fix to mark to market, but at the same time, we're, we're putting ourselves back where we're. Banks exactly. say this is worth a billion. Yeah, it's worth exactly. a billion. Why not? Yep. Exactly. We are okay. we're right. creating a, a, a whole. We're putting ourselves right back in the uncertainty bag. Oh dear. Mark Haynes, I thought it was a good explanation. I, I actually understood you. it. I, Mark, I would have liked a little telestrator with that also yeah. with the stick figures of Guy here, Fasby guys over here. We're gonna yeah. let that soak in for a little while, Mark. Thanks happened. so much. And now oh, we're so wait a minute. Is that Donnie Deutsch? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. What did you do? Donnie rent an alarm clock? <laughs> yes. <laughs> And he brought cufflinks. Oh, okay. Hainsy. Mark, Mark, you know what? They think you're crusty oh, over oh, here. Market's they don't know how warm and fuzzy you are. F futures are indicating a very strong open for the market. Oh, good. Better than 100 points on the Dow. Okay? Uh, happy days are here again. Mark yes, Haynes, indeed. thanks so much for more on this. Hopefully, yeah. maybe a more crisp? concise, crisp, I guess is the word, explanation. <laughs> yes. Let's go back to Grasping. London where we find the anchor of CNBC's closing.